Hi, it's Jamie, the owner of Not Too Shabby, where we share our love for stamps and scrappy goodness. Today is our release day. We have a brand new box of the month. So this one is called Artsy Girls, and it is such a cute collection. Our designer is Teresa Russell. She is fresh and renewed with Teresa here on YouTube, so check her out. We are having a YouTube hop and giveaway. So to get to all the people in this hop, you're going to click on the hashtag N2S Artsy Girls. That will open up all the videos in this hop. All you have to do is watch each video, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. When you're done watching all the videos in the hop, click on my Rafflecopter link. There I will be pulling the winner and the giveaway ends on August 8th. Now there's a couple options when you check out. If you're purchasing the box of the month, you have an option to check out as a one-time purchase or as a club member. To get your box monthly and automatically shipped out to you every month, choose monthly as your frequency when checking out. You will then notice a 5% discount in your shopping cart. And when you stay with the club for six months, you're gonna get a four by six exclusive stamp set sent with your sixth box. Another great perk for being a club member, I do send a special coupon for you to use throughout the month. All we ask is you stay with the club for at least three months. So here's our first stamp set, isn't that adorable? So we've got Color My World, and I just love it. I love that cute dog, that cupcake with the little paintbrush there. And then you got a second stamp set. You brighten my day. Love that girl with the paintbrush. And then we've got some roses. Love that sentiment. Live life colorfully. And then you get your paintbrushes and you've got a little um, tube of paint so you can color that any color you want to match your paper pads so the two stamps go perfect together. So we have a special treat in the box this month. We have a Miss Ink stamps stencil. So over at Miss Ink they created this stencil for our box this month so thank them for that. It is super cute. I love the paint strokes. It goes perfectly with this collection. We have two paper pads this month, a six by six paper pad, really gorgeous, beautiful prints, and our four by nine slimline paper pad. So I will give you a little peek here of the designs in this paper pad. So we've got beautiful designs on both sides. The paper does have a sheen to it. It looks really beautiful when you make a card out of it. I just love it. It's such high quality, gorgeous papers. Look at those prints. Love that dark blue. That is just so pretty. Look at that. So I had a lot of fun making some cards. I'm going to share four cards that I did at the end of this video. So stick around and then and then you can hop to the next person in this hop. The colors are so pretty in this collection. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Please hashtag me not too shabby shop on your social media. That way I can find your projects and check out your cards. So let's take a peek into the slimline paper pad. I will do this really quickly. I love that print right there. It looks like a watercolor background um, with those leaves. I just love it. So this one has more of a subtle um, prints. We've got plain colored prints mixed in with a more subtle style print. So really, really handy. And did you know you could use a slimline paper pad when making an A2 size card? Um, the four is a cross. So that is just perfect for when you're making a mat for your A2 size card. So just cut it down to four by five and a quarter. For this month's box, we stuck an extra ephemera package in your box. So extra bonus. And we have all kinds of sizes for you to play with. So we've got tiny little 
ephemera pieces, which are so much fun for scene building and shaker pieces. Just the possibilities are endless. So I'm showing you the small ephemera pack. Look at all those tiny, cute little pieces. You're going to have so much fun playing with. And then our other two packs are larger pieces and then some normal size pieces in there. But the larger ones we thought would be perfect for scrapbooking, mixed media, or like if you wanted to make one of those large six by six size cards. And I know like five by sevens are coming in style. So ephemera pieces are so great to make a quick card. So if you don't feel like coloring and you wanna make a card, take out your ephemera pieces and you can do a card in less than five minutes. I just love ephemera. I just love how the cards turned out. You guys are gonna have so much fun playing with this kit. So I did a couple cards with stamps and then a couple cards with ephemera. So look how cute this turned out. So I wanted it to look like she is just created like this masterpiece. I used the sentiment, live life colorfully. I used a cat scrappiness frame die here, a spellbinders edge die here. And then I colored the images with my Copic markers, left some white space. I thought it matched perfectly with the little white space all around the images. And then I topped it off with the enamel dots. And I did add some glue to the back of the enamel dots to ensure they would not fall off. So I thought that turned out really cute. The other one I did with the stamp sets is this really cute one. It's an A2 size card. We've got the sentiment color outside the lines. And then this cute little dog, I wanted him to look like he was um, stomping on the paint and it was coming out. And then he was like having a, like a fun time in the craft room. Um, he's got some paint on him and there is a paint splatter stamp in the set. So uh, doesn't that look really cute on the dog? So I just took different um, inks from my stash, um, actually some oxide inks. And then um, I have the little paint palette up here with the paintbrush and the paintbrush looks like it was painting these um, little paint swatches here. And that is from the stencil, the Miss Ink stencil. So I really wanna play with that stencil some more. Um, the stencil is available for purchase by itself if you just wanted to get the stencil. Um, just love it. I really wanna make something with this heart. And um, there's just some fun paint swatches in here. Um, I love this one, it would look really pretty ombre. So then you can see I used the pattern paper in the background with all those little paint tubes, which looks super, super cute. Now this one I did with the ephemera in the paper. So I love that sheet of paper, it is so cute. It's got like faux glitter, gold glitter splattered all over it. And then we've got that cute cupcake with the glitter on there. And then this is from the stamp set, eat, sleep, create, repeat. I love that. It goes perfect with this cupcake with the paintbrush inside of the frosting. And then I also added the little um, rose and these really pretty leaves. Topped it off with the sequence that comes in your kit. And this one turned out really, really pretty. So I did use the large um, lily and the large leaves. And we've got the little paint and the paintbrush with the yellow. I thought it went perfect with the yellow lily. It looks like we painted the lily and made a really pretty piece here. Topped it off with some of the purple enamel dots and sequins and then used the You Color My World for my sentiment. And then I just heat embossed that with white on black cardstock. I used two different patterns of paper. This one's from the Slimline paper pad, and then the, this one is from the six by six paper pad. And then used that cat scrappiness frame again for my card base. So those are the four cards. I hope you guys enjoy this hop and get lots of inspiration. Don't forget you can purchase the box as a one-time purchase, or if you wanna join the Box of the Month Club and get it monthly, make sure you click on monthly for your frequency. So you're gonna to have to change 
that to monthly in order to get your box every month. So that will guarantee a box every month. You'll get a 5% discount at checkout. And on your six month anniversary, as a club member, you're going to get an exclusive four by six stamp set with your six box. Don't forget to click on the hashtag. It's up on your screen. That will get you to all the videos in this hop. Don't forget to leave a comment, press that like button and subscribe, and I'll catch you real soon in the next video. Bye guys.